Hey everyone, Kelly Dean Allen here again. Today, going to show you guys how to play what was Eddie Van Halen's favorite ACDC track, Down Payment Blues, a cut from the band's 1978 album, Power Age. Now, Eddie had stated on a number of occasions his love for this track and would pester ACDC relentlessly to add it to their set list whenever the two bands were out on tour together. Uh, he had good taste in ACDC, that fella, I must say. Uh, now, I will not be including the solo in this particular tutorial as I'm going to try something new. I'm going to put the solo tutorial up on my Patreon account separately for those who might want to join up and have access to it. Now, this will not be the new normal going forward. I'll just be doing this on the occasional tutorial every once in a while, yeah? See if I can maybe drive a little bit of traffic to my Patreon account with a bit of follow-up content to some of the tutorials that I do. Uh, regardless, enough said. Let's close in, learn how to play ACDC and Down Payment Blues. All right then, Down Payment Blues. Malcolm Young, Angus Young, and ACDC. We are in standard tuning for this tutorial. And this one starts with just guitar playing this. One, two, three. Two, three. One, two, three. Bum, bum. And then the main riff starts after that. So it's just an E power chord down to an A power chord with a quick little up down, right? Ba -dum -ba, right? You just let that A power chord ring for like a five count. Ba -dum -ba, two, three, one, two, three. And then you repeat it. And then you're gonna go E to A, E to A, E to A three times. Ba -dum -ba, bum, ba -dum -ba, bum, ba finally two E power chords that you let ring and then we drop into the main riff so that's the opening ba -da -ba. Ba -da -ba. quieter we're going to drop into the main riff which is basically that e to a three times right and then striking that e power chord twice nice and quiet you're going to repeat that four times to F sharp down to B. Do the same thing twice. Now when you're dropping from this F sharp down to the B, you do not need to shift the entire uh, uh, power chord, right? All you need to do is lift your ring finger off of that four of the A string. Right, and then drop back into that F sharp and repeat that twice. Then we're gonna move it up to A, the exact same thing just once though then you're going to drop it into B and much more aggressively and this is when the other guitar joins and both guitars are doing something different Angus is still doing this same progression right going from B down to E an E power chord by just lifting his ring finger off of that seven of the A and you're going to repeat that twice While Malcolm joins playing this, and if you're playing this on one guitar, I recommend this is what you play. Right, he's grabbing the B power chord and dropping into a double stop down here on the ninth fret of the D and the G. And then bouncing off this right here, the seven of the, uh, the low E and the A off of that double stop. And then dropping back into that B chord, right? And you're going to be repeating this a whole bunch of times. Right, so you repeat it twice to finish the opening riff, and then you're going to repeat it four more times, quite aggressively, before the first verse starts. So that's the opening. Four times. sharp twice up to a 
once. And then into B. And then you're going to repeat it four more times aggressively before the vocals come in. four more times once the vocals come in quieter then move it off to A and do the exact same thing right A down to D and then you're dropping onto the double stop right bouncing off this fifth fret to E, E to A, and then back to B. Right? And then the second verse starts, and we're going to play that more aggressively. The exact same thing. Four times. that A, bum, bum, drop onto that double stop, let it ring, off to E to A, bum, 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 let it ring, and then we're going to go B to E twice, and then slide out of it, right? Bum, 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 bum. And that's when the solo comes in, and we're not covering the solo in this one, but I'm going to show you what's going on underneath the solo, right? So it's this B uh, riff, right? For like eight bars. Then off to D for eight more bars. And again, we're going from D to G just by lifting our ring finger off of that seventh fret of the uh, D string, right? Then off to E to A for four bars. two bars and then right at the end of the solo we're going to go E to A five times and then finally E B E and then at this point you're going to go B to E four times One, two three four One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, boom, bam. Right, and then the riff starts again nice and quiet. And then the vocals come in. Nice and quiet, right? Four more times. A to D, off to E to A, back to B to E, nice and quiet, right? Final verse, aggressive. A to D, 
to A, and then B to E twice, slide out of it, back into the main riff, back into the main riff again for another bunch of repeats, I think four times, right? Right at the end of the track, we're going to go A to D one more time, bum, bum, and then E to A, and I think there's a, there's like a it's like an eight count between these. Bum, bum. Everything's slowing down at this point, right? And then we're going to go B to A twice, bum, 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 and then I'll let it ring, and that's pretty much the end of the track. And right at the very end, he does this. fade out, right? He's grabbing the double stop here on the nines of the D and the G, and then he's grabbing the double stop on the sevens of the A and the D, and then grabbing the uh, the ten of the low E, and then dropping into that blues progression, right? It's kind of odd sounding. That right there. Bum, 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 bum. And then he drops into uh, like a power chord here, seven of the low E and nine of the A, and then just bouncing off the uh, 11 and 12 of the A string. Nice and slow. And then he's grabbing the uh, 10th fret of the low E there and back off to that power chord, right? And he's back and forth here on that 11, 12. 11, 12, 11. Or sorry, not 11, 12, 11. 11, 12, and then grabbing that 10 of the low E. Right, and that is it. That is how you play Down Payment Blues by ACDC. Certainly hope you enjoyed the tutorial, found it helpful, and if you did, please hit that like button right down there, maybe drop me a subscribe. If you haven't done that already, as that would be very kind. Hope you're well out there in your little guitar corner of the world, and we will see you next time. Cheers.